Hey there beauties, welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you've been here. In today's video I have another DIY hair color video for you. If you've been around you might have seen me coloring my hair at home using the Garnier Olia Violet Red and I did color my hair twice with that exact same color. But anyways I just wanted to choose something else this time and I went for the ice cream more professional hair dye i found this at shoppers drug mart if you live in canada i had to purchase developer separately so there's a suggested professional ratio for this color and it says to use one to one and a half parts uh, so if I'm using, uh, let's say, just one of these creams, which is 100 milliliters, I would have to use 150 milliliters of developer, which is um, this exact bottle. And so uh, if I'm using just one uh, tube, I'll use one bottle, but I purchased two of each since I have very dry and thick hair. So I'm just gonna mix two of each and it's the perfect ratio. So I think I'm all set to get started. Mix this color, apply it. And of course I'm gonna be filming. It's been six, about six weeks now since I dyed my hair with that uh, Garnier Olia color. It is pretty much washed. As you can see, all my previous blonde is streaking through and I have a new grow out with grays right here so I'm hoping to cover that I'm just gonna jump into something else more comfortable and stay improved and I'm ready to get started hey guys I've just prepped some stuff here before I mix the color like you can see here paper towels as I'm trying to protect the counter here I have a pair of gloves from previous box dyes that I used and I did find in my kitchen this plastic bowl and I do have this brush for mixing from before. This is just a comb so I can separate my hair nicely and two hair clips which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need and then I have the developers two bottles like I mentioned before, I was going to use both of these colors, but I just actually figured I'm going to mix uh, one at a time just in case it is enough. Since it's first time I'm using this more professional dye and I can always mix the remaining product in case I need more. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some Vaseline along my hairline. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix the color and start the application and I will see you then. Here on the box it says it's a rich and bright permanent hair color that ensures the coverage of gray and a long lasting result. That's what I want so we will see. Alright guys I'm ready to mix and ready to go. I use an old bath towel to protect my clothes and just putting on some gloves all right guys i'm gonna show you how it looks like in the bowl pretty thick consistency looks like there is a lot of product but we will see uh, starting with the roots in the middle
just finished applying the color I decided to stick with only one tube of cream and one bottle of developer I'm not gonna be mixing and opening another package and uh, I'm gonna give the color another 30 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it all off and then the best part when everything is done we will check the color and I'll see you then hey guys welcome back to my DIY hair color vlog it is the next day and this is the end result of the work I did yesterday as you can see I'm outside uh, going for a walk right now and I thought it would be a great idea to show you in daylight inside under the artificial light it looked pretty dark so I thought oh my gosh this is not what I wanted but once I looked at it better in the light and especially today in daylight it's really nice that deep violet the deep purple color it did cover all the grays that I had coming out it did a great job with that I wasn't sure at the beginning if I loved it more than the Olia Garnier the color itself but I think I'm getting there really so like I said it did great great coverage great pigmentation only from one packaging I didn't have to use both or even one and half um, so I'm pretty happy about that so I can use that product next time only when I do the roots I probably won't be even doing the whole here once again I think that's what it said on the box as well to not do an over all over application every time I'm not sure when I'm gonna be filming another hair color video but I am gonna update this video at some point somewhere <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed watching and that is inspiring to you somehow uh, help you decide on your color choice or even how to do the application yourself and if you did enjoy you know what to do give the video a thumbs up leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already I post a lot of makeup related content on my channel so if you're interested definitely check that out and I will see you in my next one bye